9 Medical Reasons for C-Section, Caesarean Section You know, and are told oftentimes that vaginal delivery is the safest thing for a pregnant woman and for the baby. But there are plenty of reasons for C-section that are making these risky procedures more common among the pregnant mass. The rates of caesarean deliveries have risen from 7% in 1990 to 21% today. And the numbers of C-section births are expected to increase with time. Counting hardly any, a caesarean can expose you into issues including blood clots, surgical injury, wound infection, blood loss, and more. But, before knowing the causes of C-section we should know what is C-section and why doctors do that. What is C-section? C-section or caesarean section is a surgical procedure that requires an incision on the mother's abdomen and wall of the uterus for the baby's birth. This process is implemented when certain problems hamper the natural birth or the birth of the baby through the vaginal canal. A C-section delivery can both be planned or unplanned. Planned C-section occurs in case there are any early signs of risky vaginal delivery. Besides, an unplanned or emergency C-section occurs when certain problems occur during the labor or natural birth. Now we are going to know, medical reasons for C-section, first. Reasons for planned C-section, the following ones are the reasons for a planned C-section delivery previously cesarean delivery, high blood pressure or preeclampsia, placenta previa in which the placenta partially or completely blocks the cervix, breech position of the baby in which the baby's legs are downward, gestational diabetes, multiple pregnancies or having more than one baby at once, transverse position of the baby or the baby is lying sideways in the uterus, so, these are the risk. Factors that lead to a planned C-section delivery. Second. Reasons for an unplanned C-section, a prolonged labor, your baby's head doesn't move down or doesn't get fit through your pelvis, your labor isn't progressing or the contractions aren't strong enough to push down the baby, the cervix of yours is not opening for the weak contractions, your baby is showing signs of distress or its health is compressing because of prolonged labor or other problems, you are having high blood pressure that is making your labor riskier, the umbilical cord of the baby has prolapsed or has fallen down through the cervix and into the vagina, most importantly, medical reasons for C-section, one multiple pregnancies, being pregnant with several babies can expose different risks while giving birth. Plus, the babies often hold abnormal positions in the uterus. So, fetal distresses are more likely to happen. 2. CPD or cephalopelvic disproportion, CPD is a condition where a pregnant woman's pelvis is too small to give birth to a baby vaginally. This condition even happens if the baby's head is too large and can't fit through the vagina. So, rather than approaching for a vaginal delivery, it's safe to plump for C-section. 3. Certain placental issues, in this condition the baby can't be born vaginally. That's because forceful vaginal delivery can cause severe bleeding and can be fatal for the mother alongside her baby. For prolonged labor, prolonged labor also referred to as failure to progress or stalled labor accounts for nearly one-third of all C-section births. It happens when a mother-to-be takes 20 hours or more to give birth naturally but the labor doesn't progress. 5. Abnormal positioning of baby Instead of the head they can show feet or butt toward the birth canal which is referred to as breech position. Plus, they can also come up with their shoulder or side first referred to as transverse position. 6. Fetal distress. Fetal distress moreover, occurs when the baby lacks oxygen during the labor for various reasons including a prolonged labor, placental problems, certain health issues and more. 7. Previous C-section. Having a C-section birth previously boosts the chances of having C-section again in future. However, about 90% of women having a C-section before can go through a successful natural delivery and this term is known as VBAC or vaginal birth after caesarean. 8. Certain health conditions, gestating ladies are frequently advised to have a C-section while having conditions including gestational diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, kidney issues, and more. In fact, choosing vaginal delivery with any of the conditions can cause fatal consequences. 9. Cord prolapse. Cord prolapse is a condition where the umbilical cord slips through the cervix before the delivery of the baby. 
this factor can minimize the blood and oxygen flow to the baby. Thus, an emergency cesarean delivery, in rare cases, is required. So, these are the medical reasons for C-section. Comment down if you want a vaginal delivery or C-section.